Everyone, the Dragon Slayer has returned from his sleep. Welcome to uh, T-Briz's YouTube channel. It is I, Eric the Cyborg, coming back with a brand new update to one of my favorite decks being Buster Blader. The League of Monsters came out in, um, in a, a dual overload. Uh, so I saw that come out and I'm like, eh, yeah, screw it. I'm going to build it back because it's a fun deck. It's a, it's a good way to uh, lock down your your opponent to win the game so without without further ado let's get into it so since so since since this is the this is buster blader you have to run actual buster blader i'm running two uh, two regular buster blader as well as two uh, of his retrain so for those who don't know what what regular buster blader does uh is that he gains uh 500 he, even i forget some of these people he gains 500 points for, for each dragon monster in in other players' uh, field or graveyard. And this one, uh, for his name, he is Buster Blader, the the Destruction Swords Swordmaster. So what he does, uh, he is treated as Buster Blader while in the uh, hand or graveyard. Unfortunately, he doesn't count while while he's on the field. Which sucks. I mean, no, I said it the other way around. He does count on field and grave. So anyway, uh, so what he does is that um, when you d uh, destroy a monster um, by battle uh, with him, uh, you can equip that monster to him, and, and then also uh, once per turn, you could um, uh, send the. Uh, uh, the monster that that was equipped to him and basically just destroy all monsters that your opponent controls that are of of the same type as that monster equipped so it's a nuke for uh, for a certain uh, monster types on to the other cards wearing three of the main baby dragon the buster whelp he is your main searcher upon normal summon you get to add a um, a, um, a destruction sword card from from your deck to your hand, and he has two two other effects. Uh, you uh, can tribute him uh, from field to summon a um, a, a buster player uh, from your hand, uh, from hand or grave. And then his greater effect is that if you troll a um, a, a buster player, uh, you can uh, ascend a um, a destruction sword card from your hand to the graveyard. To uh, summon um, uh, himself out. So get your your main searcher for the whole entire deck, and your main normal summon. Now for the other destruction sword card, which everyone should be saying that will get banned, is uh, Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. So for those who some that, that don't know what it does. Um, you can equip it to 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 any Buster Blader monster on your field from your hand or field. And while it is equipped to a monster, your opponent can ask for someone from the extra deck. For some of you, you probably seen it being used with with a uh, Union Carrier because he can also just equip it straight from the deck, which is probably why this card is going to be getting banned soon. So. I, uh, I cry for that moment. And then the last um, uh, Destruction Sword monster is a Wizard Buster. Um, what he does um, while equipped is that um, uh, monster effects in the graveyard are... Is it monster effects or...? Um, yeah. Uh, this, this, this basically just stops graveyard effects for monsters. So if you're, if you're fighting Shadals, this pretty much just, just, just shuts on the whole graveyard against BAs. Also, does the same thing. Pretty much any deck that like revolves around 
Um, monster fights in the graveyard. It just says no. So thus the buzzer player monsters are to the extenders. Three Jester Confit. He's a free push summon um, uh, once per turn. That's the only reason why why I'm running him because he's a free summon and a free extender. Uh, only running two of uh, Ahara because he's also a um, a, a a nice free summon. Uh, from your hand, if you uh, control no, no, uh, no uh, effect monsters on, on the field, so free extension. And then the one that'll probably be banned for Jet Synchron, because also free extension and also free needle fiber plates. Because why not? It's absolutely broken. So on, on, to, on to the hand trap. The only hand trap running are Triple Ash Blossom, or as our fool would call them, Bathwater Baby. I curse myself for saying that. Anyways, on to the spell cards. Since you're running a whole bunch of uh, level 1 monsters, uh, where opt out is the perfect card for it. Uh, if you control a, a, um, a level 1 monster, you get to add a, a, a level 1 monster from. from from your deck to your hand. The only downside of it is that um, if you don't normal summon that monster you search with it, uh, then at the end of the turn you take 2,000 damage. And of course, triple call by the grave because hand traps really hurt, hurt, hurt a lot in this deck. Uh, running one of the Destruction Sword Fusion, it's pretty much a mini super poly in a way. It's a fusion spell for Buster Bladers. I don't really have to go much into it, but his other effect is that you can discard a card uh, from your hands to add it back, add it back to your hand from graveyard. So it's uh, recyclable, which is why you only play the one. Speaking of one, one for one. You're, you're you have a bunch of of a level one extenders. Might as well have a level one extender to bring him out. Uh, it's a fusion for for the one fusion monster, which I will go into later, and then foolish burial to set up your your uh, your dragon buster plays. Now for the big ones, the trap cards, which is a quite a few of them in the deck. This card is an automatic three up staple. You have to play three of it. Prologue of the destruction sword. Swordsman. So basically, what this does is that you send one Buster Blader and one and one Destruction Sword a card from your deck to the graveyard. That is cost, by the way. And this summons, um, I believe, it summons Buster Dragon from the extra deck. Yes, um, this summons Buster Dragon from your extra deck. And then during the uh, next turn, the monster is summoned during the end phase, it'll be destroyed. Uh, its graveyard effect is that if a, um, a Destruction Sword card would be destroyed by, by a, a card effect, uh, you can banish this instead to, uh, to save it. So the main card you send with this is the Memories. So what Memories does is that you would banish, um, banish itself, along with a um, a, um, a a Buster Blader and a Dragon Monster from your graveyard to to summon out the Fusion Monster from your extra deck. So basically, the, so basically the whole basic combo is activate this, setting this, and whatever you need in your graveyard, whether it be a Buster Blader or, well, most likely it'll be a Buster Blader anyway. So you send this, so you activate this, send this, and the bus to the graveyard. And then you chain this to banish this. And then you banish your your uh, Buster Blader and your Dragon Monster from your graveyard. So that you summon uh, both 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 Buster Dragon and and the Buster Blader Fusion out at, uh, at the same time. So those are automatically stapled in the deck. You must play them to play Buster Bladers. The other the other trap card I'm running for um, for Buster Bladers is 
Sword Flash. I'm, I'm not seeing a lot of people run, run this card. I don't know why. Basically what this does is that if you control the fusion monster that 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 lists Buster Blader in its um, uh, text, uh, you banish all monsters your opponent controls. Yes, you banish all monsters that your opponent controls. People, it is a non-targeting, non-destruction field nuke. Yes. Its other effect is that in the graveyard, if a if a uh, monster that lists Buster Blader on it, um, when a card or effect is activated that targets a um, a um, a Buster Blader monster that, I, that 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 you control, uh, you would banish this card from your graveyard, uh, negate that effect, and and destroy it. Yes. Yes. Negate and destroy. Try and make sure on that people. And to get out all those normal traps, three trap trick. Because it turns out, oh, they're all normal trap cards. So you can just easily set this up. It's absolutely gorgeous. So for those who don't know what it does, I can go over quickly. Uh, you activate it, uh, send any of your uh, normal traps, or, or, or you banish one copy from your deck to set the same copy from your deck to the field. And you can activate it that turn and you and and once that resolves you're limited to only uh, playing uh one one more trap card that turn. And then obviously another card to go with it is triple infinite permanence. Don't really have to go much into this one either. As the main deck onto the extra deck and go over the quickly. Relink ones, uh, one relinquish anima for going second to uh, absorb your opponent's monsters, and one link rebo to just for the um, uh, Jesse ground plays, as well as you're running level one, so it's like oh, free summon as well. Link twos, one broken boy, Grison Needle, or Hunky Fibrex. I don't really think I need to, I need to go over him right now because everyone knows what he does at this point, but. If you don't, kind of look him up. We're kind of running a bit on time here. Other ones is uh, Nightmare Phoenix, generic uh, spell trap removal. This one I will explain a little bit of. Uh, double Buster Whelp of. Uh, double Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. So, what this guy does when he is Link Summoned, you send. Uh, one destruction sword card from from your deck to the graveyard, so it also uh, helps um, uh, set up your um, your uh, uh, trap card plays. And if you do that effect, if you have a Buster Blader monster in your hand, you can summon it from your hand. Its other effect is that um, if a if a Buster Blader monster um, did not declare an attack um, uh, during during the battle phase. Only, only during your battle phase, obviously. Um, he would inflict damage to your opponent based on that monster's attack points. So, the, so, so, the, so that effect w w works works really well with the fusion monster because the fusion monster can't attack directly. So, this compensates for that by dealing burn damage to your opponent. The only the only thing three would summon or play is a uh, unicorn because it's Free removal. Onto the fusions. You run two instant fusion targets. You run Thousand Eyes Restrict. If you have if you have Millennium Eyes Restrict, play Millennium Eyes Restrict. I I don't have one right now. If I did have one, I I, I definitely run it. And the other one is Dark Fire Dragon for a for a dragon extender to get the fusion monster out. So whatever the situation calls for, my my friends. And then the main fusion monster, Buster Blader himself, the the Destruction Sword Master, Dragon Destroyer Swords, and I keep mixing their names up. Anyway, so what he does is that uh, all all dragons on your opponent's side of the field, uh, they are uh, they are immediately put to uh, defense mode, 
uh, and their effects are uh, negated. And that's for any dragon at all. So no matter what it is, he will beat over any dragon you have on the field or your opponent will have on the field. Also, he also he also deals piercing damage. Oh, and he also gains a 1,000 attack for each dragon monster in your opponent's uh, field and graveyard. So if you're facing a dragon deck, they're pretty much screwed. The only downside to that is that he he cannot he cannot attack directly, which is which is a necessary downside, to be honest. Synchros, double Buster Dragon. Well, what Buster Dragon does is that uh, he is basically DNA surgery for your deck which means you don't have to run actual DNA surgery. He he makes everything that, that your opponent controls into dragons, which works well with the fusion monster because the fusion monster can just say, oh, you're all dragons? Uh, go to defense mode and you're always negated no matter what. Uh, his other effect is that if you don't control a, um, a, um, a, a bus player monster, summon one from your graveyard. Because why not? Also, his most his, his most powerful effect is that once per turn during each player's turn, you can target one destruction sword monster in your graveyard. Well, you target one Buster Blader monster that you control, as well as a a um, a destruction sword monster in your in your graveyard. Equip that monster to Buster Blader. So obviously the main thing, you would have these two on the field and you would have this little piggy in your graveyard. So your opponent's turn, you would do effect, target, target, equip, your opponent's locked out of the extra deck. That's pretty much the whole combo of that. And then for the other synchros I'm running, uh, uh, one Scarlet uh, Red Grand Archfiend. If you have Warlord Savage Dragon, uh, swap it out for this. I, I do have one, but I, I uh, didn't have time to uh, swap it out in time. But this also works good for like for like time good strength for like game three. If you go into time, just deal burn damage and you win the game. And then one uh, Hot Red Dragon Archfiend Abyss. Uh, you run him because he negates a card once per turn. Absolutely good. Anyway, that is the current update for Bustlebaiters. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, click the bell to to uh, be notified on our on any any future uh, projects or and uh, and profiles. And make sure you all stay safe out there. And we'll catch you all next time.